thanks for joining me again today. This is Ruth Hamilton and I'm going to be making a card with one of the digi images from my website, Ruth Hamilton Design. I'll add the link down below and I'm going to use a die set from and some alcohol markers from Tonic Studios. So the die set that I'm using is the decorative, double decorative header folds and this one is called Frills. I'll add my affiliate links down below if you want to have a look at that as well. And then I'll show you what alcohol markers I'm using. But the digi image that I'm using is called pansies and there are two pansies and a little bud on it. And I have printed this one out on my printer to measure 11 centimetres across here and then it fits perfectly onto the card that I'm going to make. So I'll just put this one aside. I'll come back in a moment or two and colour that. And in the minute, uh, sorry, just at the minute, I'll show you some of the colour combinations that I've used for the ones I have here. So this is a beautiful one here and I've used some lilacs on it. There's a um, lavender sky on here and then this one is Indian saffron on here and bamboo leaf on the, on the leaves. And that's a really, really nice combination of the purples and greens and the yellow together. Now for this one here, I'm actually just thinking, um, pansies are out in the garden at the moment. I've got lots of them out there and that's what's drawn me to do this today. But they can be used to make a really vintage, classy, oldish style of card. And depending on whatever you use for the background or whatever colours you use, even the size that you print them out at, you can make a really, really modern card as well. So. With that said and done, I'm just going to show you this beautiful tag that I made as well. And this one has the pansies printed out in a smaller scale. And I have coloured those in with fruit punch, spiced orange, and I've used pine grove for the leaves this time, so slightly darker leaves. And I've used um, some other dyes, Tonic Studios dyes actually, on the background here and made a tag with a great big bow. And I think that's a, a very modern looking one, so that's the colours I've used on that one. And then this is the background I'm going to use for the card today that I'm making. And I've left that to show you the colours that I've used on this one as well. So black cherry for the top petals here. And then I've used Indian saffron on the bottom petals and the bud there. And I've also used bamboo leaf for the leaves. I think that's really beautiful. The, the contrast between those two colours there the, on the petals is really beautiful. So that's that one. And then I've got another one here and I have used plum tomato on that one and you can see how nicely that stands out against the white as well. So just to recap, because this is a digi image and not an actual stamp, you can resize this before you print it out in any size you like. So a large one like this, right down to however small you want, lots smaller than this if necessary. And you can cut them out on a layering die or whatever, but I love to just fussy cut them out because it means that you can set that up and have a really nice background behind it and give it a bit of dimension. So with all that said and done, I will show you how I have made this card. First of all, I've got a five by seven card blank. Then I have cut a piece of white card and it measures 11 and a half centimeters across the way by 16 and three quarters in length. And I've just taken one of the dies from this die set. So it's really only just this one. And I just made a little mark at one centimetre down from the top and up from the bottom here and put this die onto the card and cut through it. Now I had intended to use the outside but then I just liked it whenever I, I saw what it turned out like and I think I'm just going to add that straight onto the card like this. Now another thing was I had some lovely coloured card to go behind it and you can use that whatever colour you like to match in with the flowers that you're using. But whenever I saw the white against the white, I just thought it was so, so clean looking that I think I'll just leave it like that. So I'll pop that aside. Uh, I'm going to use my glass mat to go below the colouring here because sometimes the alcohol markers, they come through slightly, as you can see, through the back. And it doesn't usually transfer onto anything, but actually it's a good tip just to remember not to do them straight onto the card because it will come through. And when you open your card up, you'll see it on the inside. So always put it on a separate layer. Now I'll just set this aside and come back and colour. So the colours I've picked out for this one are 
Lavender Sky for the lower petals, Sugar Plum for the back two petals. I'm going to go over this black here with some Ancient Fossil. You don't have to but it depends on the settings of your printer how dark that comes out and I like it to be quite dark because you know it's very deep in an actual pansy. I'm going to use Bamboo Leaf for the leaves here and a handy little tip is keep your blender pen handy because if you happen to go for the lines at all that's a lifesaver. That really helps. So you'll probably see me now and then just dipping back to the, the blender pen. And also as you can see when you pick up your Nouveau alcohol marker you can see a fine little grey line around one end of it. So that shows you which end is the the, the fine finer tip, the bullet pen, and this one then is the the broader nib. So that's the finer tip and that's the chisel end there. So I'll speed the camera up the video up as I'm going to colour in here, but I've given you the colours. I'll link them all down below again and just sit back and enjoy. However, do remember, it's really not rocket science. It's it's to be enjoyed. I hope you do enjoy it. And um, just really take your time and pick whatever combinations you like. And you could probably invent a new pansy too. Enjoy it. changed my mind yet again and that's the beauty of card making you can just let it evolve as you see it 
coming together but I decided to add the lilac in below. So what I've done is I've, I have fussy cut the flower out with my tiny little scissors. Then I have placed it on this part in the middle after I die cut this, these two pieces. I have glued that, I've used my deluxe adhesive from Tonic and I've glued that onto some mauve purple card which measures 12 centimetres by 17 and a quarter and then I've put it onto my 5 by 7 card blank. Um, I, I'm not going to add anything else to it because I think it's just really delicate and pretty looking the way it is. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Please have a little look over at my website and you'll see lots of other flowers. I love gardening, I love flowers and I'm always drawing them so I'll be sharing lots more with you as I get time to add more digi images there but there are some lovely ones there at the moment anyhow. So if you have a little look um, I'd love you to subscribe to my channel here too so that you can see lots more of these coming because I'm on a bit of a roll now. I just have got a little bit busy in the middle of it but I will get back to it as soon as possible and be adding lots more stuff. I've also got quite a few other videos editing at the moment. I think there's about five in the pipeline there. So don't forget, I'd love to see you back again and thanks very much for watching and I hope you enjoy it. Keep safe and well till the next time. Bye.